Hello, this is Sara Cruz of Go Walks Portugal. Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm in Condeixa. This place is just a 15 minutes drive from Coimbra and also close to the well-known Roman site of Cunimbriga. If you have seen our previous video about Portuguese astronomy, you've noticed that I went to a place called Passeita Farm. And today I'm going there again because they have some news for us. It's an initiative that they had with other businesses. Before I go, I'm going to show you a little bit of what's around me because Kodesha is a very beautiful village and I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Known for its tranquil atmosphere, just a few kilometers away from the buzz of a bigger city like Coimbra, Condaixa's center counts with a few squares surrounded by cafes and typical restaurants, parks and gardens ideal for a morning walk, and huge palace-like houses built during the 16th and 17th centuries by wealthy families. In the last century, some of these got transformed in a city hall, a hotel, and even an interpretive museum about Portugal's Roman legacy. This time I didn't come here to show you that, so I proceeded with my walk until I reached the true heart of the countryside. It is here where we can find one of the essences of Condaixa, the traditional ceramics. There was a time when this site was surrounded by big factories that produced such kind of art. But today we find it in small family-owned workshops installed in their humble homes. One of the most evident examples of this is the workshop of Ribelo and Barrico. These artisans are incredible, sitting in a little wooden stool surrounded by ceramics. They paint their hearts out for 8 hours a day, 6 days per week. They are two of the thousands of workers that the local factories used to employ until the late 1990s. At that time, these people may have lost their jobs, but they didn't lose the passion for painting, so they made sure to continue on preserving this unique craft. Fortunately for them, tourism was a big boost to the business, but with COVID-19 taking travelers out of the country, all they can do is painting more and more while looking forward for better days. And that's where Paseite enters the game. They had the idea to partner with them to produce 100 olive bottles of fine Condaixa ceramics. Let's hear about it. Yeah, so this whole idea started basically because we were doing um, uh, like little uh, markets in Panela, mm -hmm. local products, local produce. Uh, it was organized by an English lady called Birdie. She's fantastic. Before COVID, we attended a few, and then after, well, shut down, uh, there was just, I think, one or two markets still. And it's nice because all the market stall holders, they become friends. And then there was um, a lady, and she is a pottery 
like maker. Yeah. And she was doing these fantastic bottles that she buys at these antique markets in Coimbra. Mm -hmm. And then she makes molds. Okay. And then, um, yeah, she just paints them and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, we should do a collab. It would be so yeah. fun. And then when the markets stopped, all of a sudden I had this idea. I was like, we should yeah. do my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but I should paint it. Mm -hmm. with my Here. neighbors because exactly. um, I know that my neighbors they also I mean they supply tourist shops there yeah. is no t tourists no not at all um, <laughs> they can't do web shops because the products are so incredibly fragile and the costs here because nobody talks about that but the logistics to ship yeah these kind it's of very items, expensive it's so expensive and people that are not willing to pay for that exactly so I was like I'm, ha I'm gonna do it I'm gonna make a hundred bottles uh, and support basically to other uh, yeah people so yeah. in the, in trouble Around. and then it's actually yeah it's like local made it's our olive oil it's their paintwork and uh, it's Tamsin uh, so yeah basically molds and the collaboration was super interesting as well because she learned a lot from them because they have so many years of experience yeah because they worked in a factory here for many years and then they lost their jobs and exactly. they they started doing the business themselves exactly but yeah. people don't buy as much as they used to no no it's actually through europe so we've got yeah. clients in sweden in france in germany in belgium netherlands yeah uh, which is yeah, it's nice for them as well mm -hmm. to, to see that and hopefully yeah. in portugal as well yeah lots. <laughs> yeah i'm surprised that uh, that there's also uh, yeah some portuguese that, uh, that appreciate the yeah it's a nice the gift gesture. yeah and now for not, christmas it's even better exactly and it's not i know it's not cheap but if you see the amount of work that goes in this yeah it's just a lot of labor and um, yeah we pay fo focus as well on you know it's not doing plastics and mm -hmm. so basically yeah the, the costs are a little higher but you have a bottle for life with a specific number on it and um, yeah there's only one of them yeah there's only one of your your bottle yeah so. they're all different yeah each bottle is carefully handmade following the four basic processes of ceramic manufacturing digging the raw material from the ground adding water shaping and firing after that, they are meticulously hand-painted and then sit there for some time until it's glazed and baked by these knowledgeable hands. And this is the final result. After that, Pasaita still has to fill them with their pure extra virgin olive oil and package it the right way, safe and ecologically speaking. Everything's cardboard because I yeah. didn't want to use any bubble wrap and stuff like that. It's an ecological package. It is, <laughs> it is. Let's see. But um if it goes well. Yeah. And then I have And you have little cards. Yes. Special cards, Portuguese and English. The English parts. Yeah. yeah. And then handwritten. Know, bottle number so I don't know which number which bottle goes to which client okay. and I would kind of like to keep it like that there are still a few bottles left so don't miss out on this opportunity go to Pasite website and get yours they had a great idea, don't you think so? If you liked this video, don't forget to comment, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you next week. Bye!